Let's see what Iva has to say. You find Iva standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Bredsha keeping their distance, but continue together. I'm okay, Rook. Ivan cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Just feel like someone would cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. What did you have in mind? First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for. So we'll have to keep them back. You could always use a hand for that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep them all away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. I've explained. I'm leading attacks with Avent every time the bridge gets too close to the gate. Listen, we're going to lose a fighter and ball every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody is manning the wall. Could always use help. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Okay, so we will see you here for a couple of days, I assume. Um, maybe four or five before the uh, big guy comes. I forgot his name. And we have to choose. Um, which tasks are more important because we can't finish off all, I assume. Find a safe place to stay, find a source or supplies, help down the docks. Uh, I think finding a safe place to stay is the first important task. The entire caravan has spread out in the streets where they're attracting attention. We could look for a public house, suggests the left, like Frostfeller. You figured that if you made camp in the open you could at least keep everyone together. All with people leaving the city recently there might be abandoned houses to respond to. Gather in the public rest house, make happy in open space, for abandoned houses. Um, I think looking for abandoned houses should be the best option. Since they said before that a lot of people left, so they should be um, available. The only problem is I might split my grid by doing this. And that's where this option comes in and becomes interesting. The only problem is if I do it in an open space I will attract attention but everyone is together. But I think houses are better, maybe. With all the people that fled from Fosgard when the dredge arrived, you figure there must be abandoned houses around. Sure enough, a few turn up which will keep people out of the weather. They express concerns over safety. A house full of women and children is sure to draw some attention. Leave some fighters, sign leaders. Leave some fighters to guard the houses. You take volunteers to watch over the houses, mostly the older, the wounded fighters, who wouldn't be much help against the dredge anyway. Hopefully they won't be missed on the walls, but you feel better in them that your clansmen will be much safer. So at least they have a shelter. But I'm losing a lot of um, a lot and a lot of clansmen. 
I have a part that points out the threads along the wall. There's lots more of them, and they're getting braver, he says. We've lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help if nobody left defend the walls. One of your clansmen from the caravan finds you. Just wanted to tell you that everything seems to be fine, he says, regarding the people in the caravan. There was a little scuffle with some losers, but the fighters you left sorted everything out. Yes, we made the right decision. Yes. Well, I got renowned, so I can probably buy supplies. So, I think find a source for supplies might be the most important part right now. And then we'll have Iva on the walls. I checked around, Motley tells you, and nobody has food, for they won't part with it for a fair price. And our medicine has gone, been gone for days. They're either gouging the prices or it's just plain gone. She doesn't say it, but you can tell this is going to be a serious problem. Took down the ravens. Scout the city. Shake down place that seems to be holding out. I mean, scout the city will probably not work, I don't think. Shakedown places might work, but it's kind of evil, so I'm hesitant to do that. I, won't really, I don't really want to steal from innocent people. I think I'll go with track down the ravens. This might not lead to anything, well it's worth a, worth a try, I think. <coughs> you find the massive leader of the ravens along the docks where they're doing their best to keep the growing number of people in check while the boats are being constructed. You question him about food supplies. You should have brought your own, he says. I can't go giving it out to every person in those cars. I'd kill every last bastard in this city for some good mead, though. This place has been dry for weeks. Hey, can't we try trade our uh, mead for food? Don't think I'll care. Yeah, offer the meat you picked up in Rain Lake. Let me get this straight, says Bulwer. You happen to come to Rain Lake with Sigbjörn in tow and plenty of meat to go around. Is that right? You hesitate a little too long. I'll murder that motherless jocks, growls Bulwer as he turns to leave Grumbles. Bring barrels and we'll make a trade. The caravan protest when you tell them the deal you made. But when you return with more supplies than you expected, the complaints vanish. Good. That brought morale and supplies. 14 days, that's so long. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. Market. I can buy his place if I want to, but I don't need right now, I think. Uh, I don't need anything from you. I wonder what I need to do. Oh, there we go. This is bad as a wind as Ivan points across the battlefield. Aside from the fact that we're up again, uh, to our next in Dredge, a stone singing showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down by the end of the day. Dad, there's a ro riot in the docks. A left runs up to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you land. Oh, uh, yeah. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that thing could get out of hand. You consider what you want to do. Well, I think defending against the dredge is more important than saving the boats, even though boats are important. If the wall falls, we will all die.
Um, yeah, I have to. I have to help him defend the walls. Let's don't sing it. It's going to wreak havoc on us if we don't take care of it. Ivan tells you, this will be a rough fight, but we've got to take it down. You ready? You prepare yourself. And here's my A team. Might as well use them. Is our order proper? I think this should be okay. Let's keep in last. Let's try this and see what happens. It's really nice to play a game that has a good story and a good system where you can make choices and you still really uh, get really excited when you have to enter the last battle. That says a lot about the game, that it doesn't really have any weak points, at least from my point of view. Um, oh crap, this is a lot of people. We probably have... I kind of want to deal with those two first. 22 strength, that's insane. I don't know, maybe I have to go from this side. The battlefield is really favouring attacking from this side first. And I need him to be close so he can attack. Let's put you there so you can kill him. And we'll put you there so you can provide support. You can come in from the side, you kind, and you keep the middle safe. Let's try that. And to start, we do. Do we want to kill him or not? Probably don't. We want to keep it there so we waste this a turn. If I remember correctly, that thing reduces armor and gives them strength. Hmm. The problem is if I do back though, they won't reach me. I could probably take on him head on. I have a terrible um, armor reduction though. Let's play this defensive for now. And you can put down that thing there and make it hurt. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. That is perfect. Let's bring up the side with her. I probably have to try and kill him because he's um, so close to us. But I do want to be careful so I don't put myself in a bad position here. Can I? Oh, I can actually walk it back if I want to. But it's going to use this. Let's reduce his armor. Hmm. They're not really grouped all too well. Not at all. How far can you reach again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. And on the side, oh, this one, this. 
and you can move it up there. So I can go, let's see, I can go there beside her, and there would be one, two, three, four, I can't reach him. So I had to attack him. But this is really a waste of resources. Wow, this is really hard actually. I might have to wait with attacking. Because he can easily finish off that guy. And let's play defensive. Let's see. Moment, you move away. Thank you for that. That means I can take a good position here on the side. And leaving you with one health is perfect. Um, so, I guess I'll go here and prepare. If I stay here, I'd be in a bad position. He would probably go. Well, let's go there actually. No one can move. Oh. Where is he? He suddenly got a lot of health. That's nice. Oh, I need to move her. Let's down another trap. There, shit. That should, whoa, unless it goes down that way. I probably should have. It might be okay. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, if I go there, I can reach him. If I go there, though, I can use my ability. I think that's better. Oh crap. Or not. Hmm. It's his turn after him. Otherwise it'll be his turn. Yeah, I'll probably have to. But then he's blocking him. Nope. Well, I should have reduced armor. Five armor. So much. Let's give you a smackdown. Reducing armor should be a better choice here. There's a long time of it since it's time. There. One, two, three, four. No, you can't. I probably brought him too far away. But I can re uh, recover his armor. Uh, let's do that. Uh, half men this willpower. There would be three armor. That's four armor. Let's give him four. So far, so good. Ouch, that hurt though. I could reach that place and use my ability. I'll leave myself open to him though. Let's just do a straight attack. <laughs> 14 damage. That's nice. Ouch. And you should be safe from that guy. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. And all of them take damage. Okay, 
this is just getting one so far. It's his turn, not him. Not him. I think I have to help with this his arm up maybe. Maybe even focus this guy. Are you preparing for something? What can you do? Wounded allies explode. You strike them to equal to their remaining armor. So that probably would hurt a lot. Let's focus this guy. Okay, so that's a hard time for the resources. Let's see. This is my only option, really. Still, they're not grouped up properly. It's him first, and it's him. Well, I do have to use my arc lightning. Problem is, who should I focus? I guess we'll go with him. Since it's his turn next. Got the bomb. Then it's attacking um, allies as well. God, that's stupid. She's nearly dead. Bring it. At least it didn't attack me. That's something. I've got something if I can. And you could probably. There and do your spin, right? Ha, <laughs> oh, I'll take that, it's stupid. Oh, there we go. Oh, one health. That's a bit of a big cycle. I can do far. Oh, nice. 
back to you. Bye bye. This fight actually went really well. And I thought it was a game to have a problem with. Nice, nice. Uh, she could do something before we swap to either. We don't really have much choice. Let's see. We will pack hill. That's kind of nice. Protects from death only. Strength is one. That's kind of useless. Um, people will be really low before they die and can't do any damage, so you don't really have to protect them. Three armor on rest, two drawing aggro. No, a bell rest, so kind of bad. Was all. Were all these guys here before? The dread. Or did I just not notice that? Looks kind of cool in a way. So you can see how all the dredge are assaulting our town. I didn't pay attention to that before, but it looks cool. Anyways, this morning, says Ivor, I saw him bellow as here. I think it won't be long now. Eivind learns, lean silently on the staff nearby. Consider what you want to do, knowing that I know there is a lot of luck. I guess we want to investigate the riot? Maybe? It doesn't seem all too pressing to defend the wall right now. So let's investigate the riot. When you get down to the docks it's pandemonium. Few work on the ships now as the ravens stand on the bodies of people while a huge crowd roars in anger. All works axes are covered in blood. What happened? You shout, pushing your way through the rioters. What do you think would happen? Responds all work coolly. It didn't take them long to figure out we were building ships right under their noses, and they can't have one. You're gonna learn the hand or just stand around. Quite alongside. Get up on the roof and fire arrows into the crowd. Try to calm people down. I mean, <laughs> trying to calm people down would be the best option if it actually succeeds, but I have my doubts that it will. I guess we might as well try and save a few people from getting slaughtered. You brandish your axe low, try to find a voice over the chaos. It goes wrong quickly when one of the rioters gets a quick jab in. Smashing across the bridge of the nose, covering your face with blood. The last thing you remember is falling backwards. By the time you regain consciousness, the riot is finally being driven off. Won't save you next time, you hear Volvac said. This one's free. You stagger back to the wall with a new injury. So, 